Hey guys, today we are going to look at multiplying polynomials. We're going to answer the question, how do I multiply polynomials? So to multiply polynomials, we have to distribute each term in the first polynomial to each term in the second polynomial and then combine like terms. There are several methods that we can use to multiply polynomials. We are mainly going to be using the box because I have found that my students mostly prefer the box, but I'm also going to show you a method called FOIL. Let's look at what we are doing first though. So multiplying polynomials is when we have more than one term multiplied by another more than one term. So you have to make sure that you multiply the first term to each term in that second group. And then the second term to each term in the second group. So you can think of it as kind of two multiplying a monomial times a polynomial problem. We have to do x times that x plus four, and then we also have to do two times that x plus four. So this method is called break up and distribute right here. If you want to rewrite the problems like this, you can. And then it's pretty much a monomial times a polynomial problem like we did yesterday. Um, but I'm going to show you two other methods as well. So let's first look at the box method. I like this method because it can be used for all polynomial multiplication. And this is kind of a little graphic organizer. It just helps you keep your work organized. So what we're going to do is write each term of the polynomial as the perimeter of the box. And then we will use the box to help us determine the products. So I have x plus 2. That's going to be on this side of the box. It doesn't matter where you put it. x and 2 times x plus 4. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to find the area of each of these little boxes. So x times x will be x squared. And then x times 2 is 2x. And then 4 times x is 4x. And then 4 times 2 is 8. So if you look, I did the same thing as what I would be doing over here. I did x times x plus 4, and I did 2 times x plus 4. It just helped me organize my work by drawing this box or putting it in the box. So the four products I got were x squared plus 2x plus 4x plus 8. So now I just have to combine like terms which you could have done straight from the box too. You could recognize that you're going to combine that 2x and that 4x, and I get x squared plus 6x plus 8 as the final answer. So that is the box. Let's look at another method. Another method that you're going to hear in algebra is called FOIL. This is really just a shortcut, and you can only use this pattern for a binomial times a binomial. FOIL is used to help you remember the order of distributing binomials. So you do the first times the first. So x times x is x squared. And then we are going to multiply the outer terms. So x times 4. And x times 4 is 4x. And then we are going to multiply the inner terms. So 2 times x is 2x. And then we will multiply the last terms. So 2 times 4 is 8. And now we just combine like terms. 4x plus 2x, and we get the same thing, x squared plus 6x plus 8. So there are a couple of different methods to multiply polynomials. You can break it up and distribute and kind of set it up as a monomial times a polynomial problem. You can use the box method or you can use FOIL. 
I am mainly going to focus on the box method because like I said, whenever I show my students these methods, most of the time they prefer the box method. And I like it because it can be used for all, a pol all polynomial multiplication. So let's do number one with the box. I have a binomial times a binomial, so I'm going to set up a two by two box. So it's going to be k minus four times k plus five or positive five. And now I'm just gonna find the areas right here by multiplying. k times k is k squared. k times negative four is negative four k. Five times k is five k. And then five times negative four is negative 20. And now instead of writing out my four terms, I know I'm gonna have to combine like terms, so I'm gonna go ahead and recognize what I need to combine. I need to combine those k's. So when I write my final answer in standard form, I'm gonna start with k squared, and then 5k minus 4k is k, and then negative 20. Okay, number two, I have another binomial times a binomial, so I'm gonna set up a two by two box. So it's two x minus 10 and x minus seven. So x times two x is two x squared. x times negative 10 is negative 10 x. And then negative seven times two x is negative 14 x. And then negative seven times negative 10 is positive 70. Okay, now I see that I'm gonna need to combine these like terms. So when I write my final answer, I will combine the negative 14 x and negative 10 x. I'm gonna start with the two x squared since that has the highest exponent and the negative 14 x minus 10 x is negative 24 x and then plus 70. Okay, on this one, I'm gonna use FOIL just to show you both methods. So I'm going to do the first times the first, two x times, or four x times two x is eight x squared. And then I will do the outer. So four x times three y is 12 x y. And then inner 8y times 2x would be 16xy. And then last 8y times 3y is 24y squared. So I still get four terms like I would with the box and now I'm going to combine like terms. So I get 8x squared and then 12xy plus 16xy is 28xy. And then plus 24y squared. Okay, number four, a binomial times a binomial. I'm gonna use the box this time. Does not matter, use whatever method you are comfortable with. So I'll do 6a plus 2 on this side of the box, and then a squared minus 3 on this side of the box. So a squared times 6a is 6a cubed. And then a squared times 2 is 2a squared. And then negative 3 times 6a is negative 18a. And then negative three times two is negative six. So none of these terms are alike, so I just need to write my final expression in standard form with descending exponents. So it's going to be six a to the third plus two a squared minus 18 a minus six. Okay, number five, another binomial times a binomial. So I'm going to use the box. I'm gonna draw a two by two box. Eight G minus three will go here and then negative one plus three G will go here. 
So negative one times eight G is negative eight G. Negative one times negative three is positive three. Three G times eight G is 24 G squared. And then three G times negative three is negative nine G. Okay, so now I can see I'm gonna need to combine these like terms, negative eight G and negative nine G and I'm ready to write my final answer in standard form. I'm gonna start with the highest exponent, which is 24 G squared, and then negative eight G minus nine G is negative 17 G, and then I will have that plus three at the end. All right, number six, I have five X minus one squared. Let me show you what you do not do first. You do not just distribute these squared. That is not what you do. Whenever you see a binomial squared, you need to think that means the binomial times itself. So this is still just a foil or box problem. I'm not just distributing the squared. I'm distributing 5x minus one to 5x minus one. So you can use the box. I'm just gonna use foil this time just to practice with both methods. So I'm gonna do first times the first, which is 25 X squared. Outer times the outer, which is negative five X. Inner times the inner, which is also negative five X. And then last times last, negative one times negative one, which is positive one. And then I need to combine like terms. So my final answer is 25 X squared minus 10 x plus one. Okay, let's look at number seven. I have a binomial times a trinomial. So FOIL will not work on this because FOIL is a shortcut for a binomial times a binomial. So you can rewrite it as a monomial times a polynomial problem. I have to do X times that whole group, and then I have to do four times that whole group, but that's gonna leave you with a lot of terms and a lot of combining. So what I like to do, this would work just fine, but what I like to do to keep my work a little bit more organized is draw a two by three box. So my side will be x plus four here, and then x squared plus three x minus six up here. And now it's going to be easy to see what my six terms are, and then it, it might make it easier to combine my like terms. So now let's find each of these six areas by multiplying. So x times x squared is x to the third. And then x times 3x is 3x squared. And then x times negative 6 is negative 6x. Okay, now I'm doing 4 times x squared and I get 4x squared. And then 4 times 3x is 12x. And then 4 times negative 6 is negative 24. And now I just need to combine like terms. It looks like I'm gonna have some x squareds to combine and some x's to combine. So let's start with the highest exponent. It's going to be x to the third, and then I'll have my x squareds next and four x squared plus three x squared is seven x squared. And then 12 x minus six x is six x, and then minus 24. All right, last one, write the area of the shaded region as a simplified expression. So I need to find this shaded region here. So I'm going to find the area of this whole bigger rectangle and subtract the inside rectangle from it. So let's write out what we are going to do. We are going to find the area of the outside and we will subtract the area of the inside from it. 
So the first thing I need to do is find the area of the outside. So I'm going to do 4x plus 5 times 8x minus 2. So 4x plus 5 times 8x minus 2. So we have a binomial times a binomial. You could do the box or I'm just going to do foil this time just to save some space. So first times the first is 32x squared. And then outer times outer is negative 8x. Inner times inner is 40x. And then last times the last is negative 10. And then I just need to combine like terms. So I get the area of the outside is 32x squared minus 32 or plus 32x because negative 8x plus 40x is positive 32x and then minus 10. So I have the area of the outside now. Now I need to find the area of the inside. So I'm going to do 3x times x minus 4. So 3x times x minus 4, and that's just a monomial times a polynomial, so I just distribute, and I get 3x squared minus 12x. So now I need to do the area of the outside minus the area of the inside. So I found the area of the outside, it was 32x squared plus 32x minus 10, and I'm going to subtract that inner area from it. So the area of the outside minus the area of the inside equals 32x squared plus 32x minus 10 minus that whole inside area, which was 3x squared minus 12x. So now I just need to subtract this. So I'm going to change this minus the second group to plus the opposite by distributing the negative. So I'll get 32x squared plus 32x minus 10, plus that 3x will change to negative 3x squared, and then that negative 12x will change to positive 12x. And now I'm just going to combine like terms 32x squared minus 3x squared will be 29x squared. And then 32x plus 12x is 42x or 44x. And then that negative 10 doesn't have another constant co to combine with, so it will stay negative 10.